It is Tuesday, the 15th of March, and Manchester United season is game, set, and match. Man United losing 1-0 there to Atletico Madrid, 2-1 overall over across the two legs. We crash out of the Champions League at the round of 16, and it's a night of huge frustration because that really was, uh, even objectively, an absolutely horrendously, horrendously horrendous refereeing performance there at Old Trafford. Fuck knows what his name is. A guy who was arrested previously and investigated as being part of some sort of prostitute ring got released without charge. Well, he must have paid off that policeman as well. What a ridiculous performance from him today. He had no control over it. He seemed to remember his yellow card whenever Matic threw the ball down at, uh, at, 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 at Hal Felix, whoever his fucking name is. I don't give a shit. Uh, I've lost my chain of thought. I'm just... That was it. That, that, that was it. And the game was there. The game was there for United. First 40, 40 minutes up until they scored. You know, Manchester United really were fantastic. It's one of the best overall team pressing intense tempo performances you're going to see. The old traffic crowd responded. The only reason we weren't 1-0 up is because Jano Black's face was there to stop Anthony Langer's goal shot from going in. But then they scored. And i tell you what, as much as I'm bit, getting pissed off with one man in that photo, the referee, I'm really, really fucking pissed off at Harry Maguire. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm going to have to talk about him separately tomorrow. Harry Maguire for the offside goal that they scored, for the goal that they scored, both times aggressively running out of the defense. And for a man who's got like the same sort of turning circle as Jan Collar, I don't get why he's so aggressive. He runs out of defense. He runs out of there. Diogo Delo is there to now mark three players. He can't. He's marking two. He turns around and Lodi's there at the back post and not it in. 1-0 Atletico Madrid. They did not, deserve, did, not, did not deserve anything from that first half. But they got it. And we all, know, we all knew what was probably coming in that second half. And we all saw it. The masters of the dark hearts. The dickheads of the football game. Atletico Madrid, you know what they do. They do it every year. You can't, be, you can't be too surprised by it. And they did it again. But that referee, my word. I think it was a foul in the build-up to, the, uh, to their goal. If, it, if not for, the, for Langer and the constant pulling that was happening on him, yeah, it looked like he went down a little bit late in the end, but he was constantly getting pulled there. If not for the Fred one that happened just before or just after, sorry. I can't believe that at this level, a referee like that is allowed. I mean, I can believe it. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's UEFA. Who am I kidding? Of course it's allowed. But of course, you know, I'm not going to point all the fingers at a referee. I'm going to point fingers at Manchester United. But when it came to, my God, Marcus Rashford, you go, he looks done. Marcus Rashford, when he came on off, off the bench there, came on for the last 20, 20, 25 minutes. Wow. Did he do anything? Right, right at the end. Just fire in across. Just whip it in. He passes it back to Matic. Rashford. Game, he looks done. Looks finished completely and utterly deflated and devoid of any sort of confidence. Jaden Sancho, that volley that nearly went in. It was a game of nearly for Manchester United in attack. I'll tell you what it wasn't a game of. It was a game of nothings for Cristiano Ronaldo. Didn't get a sniff. That man there, that man there, didn't get a chance. Manchester United failed to really give Ronaldo the opportunity to grab his balls and shove him in Diego Simeone's face again. And that's us out of the Champions League. We're what? We're one point behind Arsenal. We've got three games in hand, something like that in the Premier League. And now we're out of the Champions League. We need a miracle next year now to get Champions League football. For whoever comes in, Ten Hag or Poch, whoever comes in, they're not going to be playing Champions League football next year. And as much as I want to just put everything at the feet of that referee, because as I said... That refereeing performance was one of the worst I've ever seen. It was it, f from f from when he stopped play on the edge of uh, Atletico's box when their player, I think it was Herrera or someone, heck, I don't know, who went down with a, after he got kicked on the ankle, but you can stop play there, to when I think it was Deloa Tellez was down with a head injury and he didn't stop play there. He remembered the yellow cards for Darren Fletcher, for Nemanja Matic, yeah, but he didn't remember he, mate, Hector Herrera, that one where Varane went through inexplicable how that wasn't given for a yellow card in like the 72nd minute. Of... I am going on about the ref too much. Gee, I do feel hard done by. And it was a game where I think that sort of, that, that feeling and that attitude that sort of enveloped Old Trafford in that second half 
We went from a crowd that was boisterous, that was aggressive, and it represented the football that was happening and the confidence that the players was like they were like re rebounding off the crowd, if you want to say that. The frustration from the crowd was rebounding off the players in the second half. We all knew that we shouldn't have gone in 1 0 down at half time. That can happen in football sometimes, all right? That's a sort of situation where you've got to pick yourselves up, improve. We didn't. And in that second half, instead of being able to sort of keep doing what we did in that first half, it's kind of like the flip reverse of what happened in the first leg. Atletico dominant for the first half. United came out in the second a little bit better. And when Matic came on, uh, the game sort of switched and changed. Today, Matic's arrival didn't change anything. Pogba's arrival didn't change anything. Mata's arrival uh, didn't change anything. Who could have predicted that? Marcus Rashford's arrival changed absolutely nothing. Our subs today did not change the game in any way, shape or form. I thought we made the right decision with that starting 11. I thought he made subs at the right time, Ralph Ragnick. It's just that the subs didn't or couldn't deliver. The team didn't or couldn't deliver or both. In fact, it was both in that second half. And of course, as I said, look, I want to put every single piece of blame at the feet of that referee because he was an absolute dick, but I can't. I can certainly place some blame at the feet of that man there. He's supposed to be our captain, man. He's supposed to be your leader. And every time we had the ball, whether it was him turning like a truck and passing it back to De Gea after three or four turns when Jao Felix was chasing him down, whether it was him trying to do a pass to Tellez that was looped and just felt nervous, he just filled me with nervous, almost angry energy. Soth knows what it's like playing alongside him. If we're looking at that whole defence there today, probably only Rafa Varane is the one that's coming out of that with any sort of stripes. I thought Diogo Delo was actually pretty decent going forward up until Lodi scored. And then he just sort of went in on himself. Everybody went in on themselves. If everybody was outside of their shells, everyone's inside their shells in that second half. Varane is so much better than Harry Maguire. It's painful. It's literally like watching a Ford Focus in a Ferrari have a drag race. What's the point? You know who's going to win and you just don't want to watch the other one. It's just dirty. It's ugly and you'd rather kick it out. That's, why, that's kind of what I feel like Harry, with Harry Maguire right now. He's been given so many opportunities. I don't think he should have been given that many. I think that's a mistake by Ralph Ragnick. And today, again, him stepping out of defense. I understand the idea of stepping out of defense. It's, you want to be more aggressive. You want to bring your defensive line higher. You want to bring your team up the pitch. But you're the only one doing it, mate. And you're doing it wrong. And you can't cover back. Stay in your lane. Know your strengths as a defender. Know your weaknesses as a football player. Don't try and expose your weaknesses constantly by just stepping forward into the abyss, leaving a huge gap behind you that Atletico just punished twice. First one was luckily offside. Second one, it's the goal that made all the difference. Man United now go crashing out the Champions League. Ah, Cristiano Ronaldo... Honestly, didn't even have a chance today. Anthony Langer's opportunity was the best chance. Bruno Fernandes' pop shot at the end of the first half that swerved. Jan Oblak with a decent save. Rafa Varane with a header. Jaden Sancho with his volley. I would say there are chances. But United didn't. When Atletico Madrid, it's like the worst case scenario, is basically give Atletico Madrid a 1-0 lead going into the second half of a second leg in a knockout round game. They know exactly what to do. They know exactly what to do. Take the knees in the back, fall over everywhere. And the ref, I, I, I repeat it, mate. It wasn't like the ref was just falling for it. It's like the ref was paid for it. That's what it looked like, seriously. I don't care if I get this video slapped down for sort of accusing a referee of that shit, but it's what it looked like. It was so bad. Even Robbie Savage at the end of it was like, does this ref actually have any idea what he's doing? And if Robbie Savage can notice it, and you know it's bad. Ah, oh, man, that's it. As I said, 15th of March. That's the season over. I don't see how we do anything inside that top four. And this is an utter collapse from two teams above us. And now we're out of the Champions League. It means that whoever comes in next year, and I've been saying this for a while, and I'm so aggravated. I was so hoping it wouldn't happen, but now it's happened. There's a big chance that whoever comes in next year now, in fact, there's a big chance, about 99% chance, that whoever comes in now as our new manager, we will not be playing Champions League football next year. And that puts us on a back, backward step, a back foot straight away. Ronaldo, not a fault tonight. We didn't give him a, we didn't give him a sniff. Everybody else can look at themselves. First half, brilliant team performance. When that goal went in, everybody felt hard done by. And I think the frustration of the crowd sort of took over any sort of maturity that any player had in their head there. And they couldn't control it. And they couldn't break Atletico Madrid down. And the masters of the dark arts, the Voldemorts of football, they did it. They nailed it.
1-0, 2-1 winners on aggregate, season done. Let me know what you think in the comments below.